Hello, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. And we are back at you with another episode of Thrift Flip. This time we are going to do clothing related thrift flips and spring and summer inspired fashion stuff. Let's do it! I mean, this is just nice on its own. I don't want to do anything to it. I could work with this. Kelsey, found your bridesmaid dress. Um. Ooh. Awkward. Who wore it better? Who wore it better? <laughs> you tell me. What you got? What you got? 80s pub. <laughs> they want their, they want their skirt dress back. I think that's actually kind of cool. What do you think? Take me salsa dancing. <laughs> it's true. Hello. What did you get? Should we haul it? Okay. Let's do it. This is a small haul today, <laughs> but I got like this 80s like button up pencil skirt dress. Complete with shoulder pads. Complete, it's, it's full on shoulder padded, so 80s. And then I have this flowy blue patterned um, long sleeve dress. Mm -hmm. And pretty. while it's pretty and cute, it's just not quite my style, so we're gonna adjust that to make it fit. Okay, let's get started. Let's do it. All right, so for my dress, uh, I know that I need to get rid of these shoulder pads, um, and I kind of want to make it like these open kimono type things. I've seen these where they take like 90s or 80s dresses, and then you wear your sh jean shorts with it and a belt, and it just kind of becomes this cool open shawl thing. So that's my plan. It, in the end, it won't necessarily be a dress, but it'll be really cool. So I need to get cutting, take out these shoulder pads, take off some of the sleeves, and then open the whole thing up. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself some extra room when cutting off the sleeves just because I can always trim it later. And to replicate, you just take the other piece and fold it on top. Then you know you're getting a similar cut. I'm gonna cut down the middle of the dress. Oh my god, cute. Look at how cute it looks already. And now that I have it all open and kind of like a rough shape, I'm gonna try this guy on. Okay. Okay, so after further reviewing, I think I want to take off the collar as well, just to kind of take in this whole upper part a little bit. Steph's makes me a little nervous, but I got this. Okay, all right, now to even out this button situation so it lines up with the skirt part I cut. So I'm liking the way this is fitting, so now I'm just gonna take some pins to mark the hem on all of the edges that I just cut, the arms, the front, around the back, um, and then I'm just gonna sew the whole thing up. Okay, I am all done sewing the arms and the front. It's all hemmed, looking good. But before I show you guys the final, let's see what Becky's making. So I have this dress that I picked up and I think I want to top off the sleeves and turn it into kind of a choker halter style dress. That's the plan, but this material is super loose and flowy, so I'm hoping that it actually works out the way I want it to. So when I was looking at this dress, I realized I'm gonna have an issue putting the choker tie in because it's gonna make the neck really tight to get over my head. So I figured out, since this dress does have a slit in the front here, I can actually just flip the dress backwards and then use the slit at the back to get it over my head. Uh, it totally saves me extra sewing work, and that way I can use the dress to the best of its abilities. So the first step is going to be cutting off the sleeves in that sort of angled halter shape. I'm going to fold it in half so I get the same shape twice. Okay, so I cut off the arms and I have kind of the shape I'm going for, but I decided instead of using the fabric that's already there to form the choker collar part, I'm going to make a new one out of the sleeve material so that it's nicer. Um, it's longer, it just looks a bit more complete. But we'll come back to that after. So what I'm gonna do now is chop off that extra fabric at the top and then hem all those edges I just cut. And I also took in the sides a tiny little bit with the pins so that it'll fit a bit snugger. I'm gonna go to the sewing machine now and sew all of that up. So I have fully cut, sewn, and hemmed the top of my dress and how it's currently sitting is it's got two pieces basically like this, the front and the back and the back is actually the front of the dress that we flipped around so I can get it on easier. So the final step is to make a giant strip of fabric that I can make into the choker that will hold the front and the back piece up and I'm gonna tie it together in the back with a bow. So how I'm gonna do that um, actually is by using the sleeves I cut off because they're nice and long, 
So I'm gonna cut some strips off the sleeves to make a long tie. So I just finished sewing this long strip out of the sleeve material, which is perfectly the right amount to go around my neck and then be able to tie in a bow to hold it all together. So one of the final steps now is to attach the middle of this strip to the front bit of the dress. So our last step is to put this on because I'm gonna need the help of someone to attach the strip to the back part of the dress. Friend? I'm here! <laughs> Aggressively here. Aggressively here. So I have these strips pinned into place on the back pieces. Now I'm just going to sew them together and that'll be it. Okay, so I now have the giant collar strip, I guess that's what we're calling it now, attaching the front piece and the back piece. The dress is complete. I'm going to go try it on and then we can see how my dress looks compared to Kelsey's. All of a sudden this is a competition, Yay. apparently. Thank you. I actually feel like these could be bought from like really high end stores. Right. Especially yours is so trendy. Mine's a little more fancy, but. No, they're so good. Thank so you. A little pretty different, pretty different. I think we did an awesome job transforming them from what they started out being. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see more thrift flips, we will link the playlist below, maybe up here somewhere. Yes, and please request in the comments what you'd like us to upcycle next, because fashion was totally a request this Yeah, time. exactly. Thanks for your requests, guys. Keep them coming. Um, before we go, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'd love to see you here more often. We're super close to a milli, so help us out, guys. <laughs> if you guys like this video, make sure that you like it. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.